I fell. For a moment there, I thought I was... I thought it was all over. I... I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. Remember my apprentice, Petra. She encountered a demon in the tower. It would have killed her had I not intervened. I saved her life that day, but I did not survive that encounter with the demon. I'm not undead. If I were a possessed walking corpse and could still think, I'd kill myself. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. I took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. The Fade contained spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. I can feel when the spirit weakens, so I should have fair warning. But come, let us not talk about this. There is time yet. <laughs>